Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are actually going to test out the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro Impact Joint Set. <laughs> Forgot what it was for a second. Alright, so what I'm seriously curious about is how far these will actually go on an angle with still working. Will you be able to use these at an angle to which you need? Let's find that out now. I'm curious and I'm pretty sure you guys are on how well these actually work with a certain type of angle. Like I said in previous videos, this channel is going to majorly start buying into Harbor Freight. All right, so I love the store. It's very fun to go through. You know, like this, they have all sorts of stuff, you know, in one store, and it's it's just fun to go to. So uh, I'm actually, uh, I've been using their socket sets uh, when it comes to the in one inch impact uh, wrench, uh, one inch drive sockets, you know, $80 for, I think it was like a, a nine piece, but uh, not bad at all for one inch drives. That's not bad at all. They actually, they actually held up. So Pittsburgh Pro so far, is impressing me and I might actually switch over from Tac Life to Pittsburgh Pro. And so I've been using Tac Life for uh, the longest time, but I think it's time for a different brand. So I think Pittsburgh Pro is gonna be the is gonna be the one to go to. We will be using Makita. This is model number XWT11, 2800 RPM and 3500 impacts per minute. So let's see what this can do. As subscribers know, I'm a huge fan of one of uh, a half inch sockets. So we will be using the half inch socket. So we will see on how well this actually does. This uh, impact wrench has a pin detent. So there you go. That's my point. Let's see what this could actually do. We're gonna put this on, uh, we'll keep it on high for now. So this video is not about stress. This video is just to see what angle it is to, uh, what angle this is actually capable of working. So I, we're only going to use a 3.5 lag. So I'm just curious. So we're going to try this. I'm going to try this straight. Let's see what this can do. Let's see if, it, if you, if, let's see if this could actually maintain its control. All right. So ready? Go. You can do it. You can do it. Am I in or forward? Yeah, I'm in forward. All right, so we got it there. All right, let's see. I'm gonna slow, uh, as I go, I'm gonna slowly change the angle and let's see what this could actually maintain. Actually, let's go to a slower speed because this is not a speed test. This is just to see what this could actually do. I'm actually hoping that it barely drives it in, but I, I wanna see what angles this actually craps out at. All right, so let's continue. All right, so let's increase the speed a little bit. See if I can maintain this angle. Oh, that's where it craps out. All right, so like 90 degrees is no go. Let's see. Let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it, then bring my hand down. Let's see what, when it craps out. It will obviously it won't do that, but if you that's not a bad angle. I mean, look at that, it'll work right here. Let's take it out. Let's uh, how much? Let's actually put it all the way in. All right, it's gonna need to be on. Hi. Yep, that's in all that's in all the way. Let's take it out. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Alright, ready? Go. It's not bad. Luckily I didn't hit the camera, but yeah, just the socket spun off. But yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad angle at all. That's not a bad angle at all. And, and it did not break. It did not do anything besides its job. Now, obviously, you won't be able to do it 90, 90 degrees like that. But, yeah. Let's do it. It 
it's hanging onto the socket pretty good. Obviously, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to just, you know, completely pull the trigger, but it's actually hanging the socket pretty good. All right, this time we're going to do it all the way through on speed, uh, the highest speed. All right, ready? Go. Sorry, that was in all the way. That's why it stopped. Cause it, it it was it, it was in all the way. All right, so let's uh let's take it out. Then I think that concludes the test. It's doing pretty good, in my opinion, for the type of angle for it driving it in like that. That's insane that it actually is doing that. All right, so let's take it out. Bingo. Like it actually works at that angle, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. I like. I like the joints, the joint set. I really do. Like if you're in a situation to where you just can't be aligned, you know, straight with it, if you need it work like this, it'll still operate and do exactly what you need to do. Just enough to bust the nut or the bolt. And then you could just uh, uh, continue doing it by hand. Because right now I'm in a situation with one of my, with one of my bolts on the brakes and uh it's right it's it's rusted on there and i have no room to like get uh get a tool get a power tool in there so i'm going to see if this if i can get this on an angle just enough i'm going to see if this uh joint set could actually assist me with that that's going to be in a future video I actually did do a pretty good job uh so i am impressed with this i believe i spent i forgot what well, i'll put the price in right now i forgot what i spent on these it was just a couple of dollars i think but yeah, but Harbor Freight is actually a good store to actually go to and get get this type of stuff that you need because it, it's it's actually 100% worth it. And I have other stuff. I have other videos coming out and so of the stuff that I bought uh this channel is going to get into welding. So I bought a a welding helmet and so yeah. So that's pretty much it you guys. I just wanted to show I just wanted to show this to you just to show you on how well these actually work. Now, it doesn't have to be Pittsburgh Pro. It could be any brand you want and including uh chrome uh a chrome version. And so I just wanted to show you how these joint sets actually work. It actually worked pretty well. It actually worked very well. And so that's pretty much it you guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.